This is Blue's Exit Press, the pool of questions. First question, do you feel like being in the showman's helped or hurt your game overall? I think being in a showman's did both. I think it did help and hurt my game a little bit. Um, I think it helped because I was able to get a different perspective and a different lens um, on different people, different strategies, which really helped. I also had someone that I can talk to um, that I could trust fully 100%. But I think it did hurt my game because I was um, I started drifting away from the people I originally connected to uh, myself. Um, and that kind of hurt my game a little bit. You and America seem to be friends, bonding over finding romantic connections in the house, but your games never really align. Then your main goal after Jared eviction became getting America out first and told Nicole that America isn't a girl's girl. Why? I didn't think America was a girl's girl because Initially, um, everything that I said to her just always went back to the boys. Um, and I felt like she was, I felt like she wasn't playing her own game. And she apologized to me. Um, she apologized to me as well for uh, choosing the guys over choosing a relationship with me. Please explain to us what was happening in the house in the moments before your eviction. The house was full of chaos. So the everybody was going to let me go see Julie Chen in a workout outfit, which was disgraceful to me. But, you know, I think uh, the moments leading up to my eviction, the house was full of craziness, but it was, it was, um, I don't know. It was, <laughs> it was everything that I expected Big Brother to be, I guess. In regards to your show, showmats uh, and it helping or hindering your game, do you wish you had done anything different? Um, do I wish I've done anything different? Um, I wish I... I wish I trusted my intuition and my gut instinct a little bit more in the beginning of the game. I was still trying to figure it out. I was really lost. Um, and in the beginning, it was really hard for me to get a grip. <laughs> um, but I wish I just kind of leaned into my own gut instinct from the very beginning uh, regarding my own game. Could there ever have been a world in where you would have worked with America? Why or why not? Oh, absolutely. I would have loved I would have loved nothing more than to work with Miss America. Um, I think her and I really could have ran the game. Um, um, of course, she is my girly pop. I wish there was a world where her and I got closer uh, and worked together. I think her and I really could have ran this game. However, our games just never aligned. Um, our showmances never aligned, which was super unfortunate, but absolutely, I think that's one of my biggest regrets in this game is not aligning um, strategies with her. And the, the fans are wondering, please ex explain kitty kitty per boots down and what it means and when is it appropriate to use it <laughs> okay basically kitty kitty boots down is a feeling it's a form of expression so whenever you're walking down with the cutest hottest new outfit kitty kitty per whenever you just became valedictorian for your school kitty kitty per whenever you do anything slay then kitty kitty per boots down and that's exactly what it means. If you know, you know, and if you don't, I'm sorry, you're just not part of the game. How frustrating was it to come so close to winning in so many competitions? Oh my God, that is super, super, super frustrating. I feel like I was a perpetual second or third place in a lot of these games. I, you know, after each game, 
I just beat myself up over the smallest little things. Like I wish I was faster. I wish I figured this out quicker, things like that. But, you know, I think ultimately it really showed that I was a versatile uh, player and that I was a really strong competitor. So I'm not too upset over it. Your goodbye messages this season were hilarious, but savage. How serious were you in those? And do you plan on staying in touch with everyone once the season is over? I'm not gonna lie. There is a handful of people that I would love to stay in touch with. There's some people, you know, weren't so kitty kitty purr, but um, all my goodbye messages were sincere. Uh, they were a little goofy. They were a little savage. I think that just kind of describes me perfectly, like spicy, but sweet. And last question, what strategy of yours got you the furthest? What strategy of mine got me the furthest? Uh, I think this is a really hard question because I think what really got me super far in the game is my social skills. But I think what also helped is that I had to switch up strategies a bunch of times. So I guess being flexible, um, being able to read people and also just you know eventually learning um learning how to trust my gut instinct is really what got me far in this game all right and that concludes blues exit press